just went out for a bit of a night ride after shooting the video for you guys so just rolling the camera as I'm riding down the 5 freeway making my way back south towards uh, my home and uh, I'm getting some pretty crazy looks from people as I'm riding by them on the freeway people just slowing down stopping and looking it's the first time in a while I've had the motorcycle out at night and of course I have the trailer on uh, with me right now as well with uh, the accent lighting on the bike and the trailer so getting some really <laughs> crazy looks right now as I'm going by people I'm sure this thing looks like a spaceship going by but enjoying the night ride has been a while since I've been out on the Goldwing um, this late in the evening And of course now with um, our daylight savings time change that does just happen in the beginning of November the sun is setting a little earlier as well and so it's dark way early right now so days feel so much shorter just because the sun sets so much earlier in the day it's uh, still absolutely beautiful out for riding um, when I checked the temperature just a little earlier it was around 72 73 degrees so absolutely perfect day or perfect night I should say to be out I'm just taking a ride I love I must say um, I think it probably was about six months or so ago can it be six months or maybe more that I uh, swapped my headlights as well as my high beams out for LED lights and man what a difference the LED lights make it really lights up the road ahead of you so much better than the normal standard lights that come with the older style gold wings Love that a lot. My uh, rear lights on the bike are LED as well. The uh, brake lights and also my running lights on the trailer are LED as well. And um, I do have one of those modulators on the brake lights of the motorcycle where when you hit the brake lever the lights will flash like four or five times before it goes solid red so it really gets the attention of the person behind you and makes them aware of the fact that you are slowing down or coming to a stop things of riding down in this area this time of the night is that the freeway looks like this not much traffic no congestion really so we're flowing at a pretty good speed on our way home I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video I recorded for you with um, yeah, the view of the bike and the trailer and some of the changes and upgrades if you can call them that I made to the actual trailer hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, for those of you who subscribe and have been asking me to do a video like that hopefully that answered the questions you had about the Scan-Am trailer and I did say it in the beginning of the video 
but um, if you guys pull a trailer with your motorcycle let me know what motorcycle you're riding first of all and then also let me know what type of trailer you're riding with um, I am on this 2008 GL 1800 the Goldwing on the Goldwing I'm pulling this Can-Am RT622 trailer the reason why we decided to get a trailer for the motorcycle was in uh, June of this year we took a trip out to Vegas, North Rim Grand Canyon, uh, Horseshoe Bend, South Rim Grand Canyon, back through Vegas and then back home again. We were gone for I think five days it was. And when you don't have a trailer you are so limited to what you can pack and take with you on the road we're we're not heavy uh, packers um, when we travel in general my wife and i um, but it would be nice to have it had the extra room to have drinks with us take snacks with us um, have a carry-on or luggage bag that had wheels on it that would have been a little awkward to put that on the little rack that I had on the back and so um, having the trailer makes traveling multi-day trips so much more convenient um, we are in the works right now of planning another trip that we will be taking um, well we are we will be riding a lot between now and then on trips that are local here uh, some of them um, for quite long local trips and hopefully we can do some trips where we we'll land up staying overnight in destinations and then riding back the next day for which we will use the trailer but we are planning for uh, the month of June uh, in 2024 uh, to ride up from here uh, up through Sacramento, Reading, up to McKinleyville and then up to uh, Crescent City out to the Redwoods right there and then make our way back home down the 1 and 101 freeway and in just mapping that out uh, that's going to be about a six to six and a half seven day trip for us and um, this trail is going to come in very handy for that trip right there what was the reason um, you purchased your trailer did you go out on a ride as well and um, then just for the convenience of being able to take extra luggage or extra things with you decide to get the trailer uh, let me know what bike you're riding what kind of trailer you're pulling or if you're thinking of getting a trailer um, yeah which which trailer you thinking of getting so far I'm really loving uh, this Can-Am trailer this is the 2010 RT622 and I like it a lot um, in the video you saw it had the two compartments where you could get access to the front or the rear of the trailer which is very helpful instead of having your trailer packed and then when you're trying to get the stuff that's in the front of the trailer you've got to unpack everything that's in the rear now you have a door or access to the front end of the trailer without having to dig through everything that's in the back so yeah we're uh, still on the 5 freeway right now this is downtown Santa Ana right there you see the 
the tower right there off to the right downtown Santa Ana keeping making our way south right here about uh, 10 miles away from home right now I'll be home in about in less than 15 minutes so If you guys have any other questions for me regarding riding with a trailer, I'm not that experienced riding or pulling a trailer with a motorcycle yet. I've only had this trailer for um, what is it about a month, less than a month, or maybe a month. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about my experience so far, put that in the chat down below. If you have any questions about the Honda Goldwing, uh, this is the old model, the old style, 2008. Or if you have any questions regarding the trailer I pull, or if you have any questions regarding any of the upgrades I installed to this trailer and to the motorcycle feel free to ask the question and um, I'll be able to help, uh, answer you guys um, and we re reply to you guys in the chat down below uh, if there's anything that you need links to for parts that I purchased and stuff like that yeah, just drop a comment down below and um, let me know and uh, I'll try my best to answer you uh, anything that I've purchased that you guys like that I've spoken about I can drop a link for you down there and um, let you guys know to find the equipment that I have installed on here that's what uh, this YouTube community is about all of us helping each other to um, make our rides better, improve our riding, uh, find the accessories we need, all those kinds of things. So, yeah, I'd love to help you guys with that if you need the help. This will be really interesting to see how this GoPro um, lands up uh, filming at night, what this footage looks like. I don't think I have any nighttime videos or rides that I've recorded yet so far <coughs> or posted uh, on the channel. So. This will be interesting to see what this looks like once I um, get this into my editor. I can see uh, the screen of this camera that's on my helmet right here. And it looks like it's doing a pretty decent job of picking up 
everything up ahead of me the camera that I have though on my handlebars right here that's shooting straight back at me <laughs> all I see is darkness with little specks of light every once in a while um, so I don't think that footage will be usable let me get over to the right over here got my exit coming up here pretty soon People are so crazy man, they are in such a hurry and always seems to be ticked off at something or another when they're riding out on the road. They won't even give you any space to change lanes because I guess they gotta get there one car faster than you. So <laughs> they'll completely try to run you out of the lane just so that you don't get into the lane in front of him or, or ahead of them that's always so funny to me What a beautiful night, what an absolutely beautiful ride too. This is um, one of the amazing things of living out here in Southern California. I uh, have been watching posts on forums that I follow and buddies of mine that live on the East Coast and uh, other different places that are already getting their bikes winterized because they have already received the first snow of the winter season guys that live out in Canada about three weeks ago have already received their first snow of the season and here I am in California it's the middle of November actually it's November 12th right now and uh, we just celebrated Veterans Day yesterday and um, man if you are a veteran thank you for your service thank you for what you do and what you have done for our country to keep us safe and to allow us the freedoms that we have here in the United States I'm so grateful for that I was born in Cape Town, South Africa and um, I've been an American citizen since May of 2011 and I am so grateful for the rights and freedoms that I enjoy because of men and women like you that gave up everything to fight for our freedom so happy veterans day to you we honor you our veterans today this weekend thank you so much 
but um, yeah as I was saying it's the middle of November and we are still temperature today um, this morning was around 58 degrees uh, the high for this afternoon was about 78 degrees completely clear blue skies just an absolutely gorgeous 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 day so um, we really are blessed out here in California with some beautiful weather of course meaning that as motorcycle riders out here we basically ride all year round and the weather is gorgeous all year round we are supposed to this week Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday there's a storm coming in and it's supposed to be raining later in the week and then we will have clear weather again and all the way through Christmas normally Christmas time yeah temperatures are in the mid 70s in the mornings before the sunrise and after sunset it'll get to maybe low 40s high 30s at the lowest but as soon as the sun comes up it warms up pretty quickly and um, we have a beautiful day so looking forward to this winter season being a really great riding season well guys good to be riding out with you guys I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Talk to you all soon again. Stay safe.